वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द टॉपिक फैक्टोरियल नोटेशन सो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन यर क्वेश्चन इज इफ वन बाई नाइन फैक्टोरियल प्लस वन बाई टेन फैक्टोरियल इज इक्वल टू एक्स बाई अलेवन फैक्टोरियल देन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल ट्राई टू सिंप्लीफाई लेफ्ट हैंड साइड एंड वी विल कंपेयर बोथ द साइड्स एंड वी कैन गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वेरी इजली फाइन so you see your left hand side is how much this is 1 by 9 factorial plus 1 by 10 factorial and we have already discussed in the beginning of this topic factorial notation that how we can understand how we can define factorials so 9 factorial means the product of first nine natural numbers 1 into 2 into 3 up to 9 similarly 10 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into up to 10 okay so naturally you can understand lcm will be 10 factorials i hope you have understood it okay now what will be numerator here what will be the numerator you know the process whenever we will divide this lcm with this denominator 9 factorial how much you will get 10 and that 10 will be multiplied with 1 so this will be 10 and here 10 factorial divided by 10 factorial one time 1 into 1 is 1 so finally we are getting 11 by 10 factorial but you see here in the right hand side we are having x by 11 factorial so we have to make this 10 factorial into 11 factorial how we can get it we can multiply numerator and denominator by 11 so that denominator becomes 11 factorial 11 factorial is here so we have to bring this value here after multiplying numerator and denominator both by 11 and numerator is 121 okay so whenever we will compare this one with x by 11 factorial we can get the value of x very easily so after simplifying it lhs is becoming how much lhs is 121 by 11 factorial and rhs is how much x by 11 factorial so by comparing both sides denominators are same 11 factorial so naturally x will be how much 121 this is the answer so in this way we can solve this problems uh, from the topic factorial notation very easily if you understand how to explain how to simplify the numbers with factorial notation and in the next video we'll see some more problem from the same topic